A while back, a couple of months ago, I went and put this machine in the garage and uh, had a video on making it. And uh, it was a pretty simple setup. And all I'm using is furnace filters. And I think they're probably, I think they're like $8 for a pack of three. And, uh, and I put that uh, box fan on the end of it. And I've been running it now for a couple of months. And I decided to change the filters in it for obvious reasons. I had the filters down here. The filters were black. You can see them, look dirt was in them but looking at them there now I might be able to save them and just blow them off and I didn't probably didn't really need to change them so I can probably reuse them more but uh, I can tell you uh, this little machine I'm amazed at it okay one of the features about it that I never thought about and happens is that where I'm here in the garage in the winter time I got an electric heater on over here Hardly see it's on anything there. I got an electric heater on there, and I got another electric heater on here. That's all I run in this garage is two of them. Garage is well insulated, vapor buried, all that type of stuff. And I'll come out in the mornings. This heater here I leave on uh, 24 7 all winter long. It's just turned down so the temperature doesn't drop below about five degrees here in the garage. And I'll come out in the daytime. This one here is always set up on bust. And I'll come in and turn that one on. I'll turn this one up and I'll run it in the morning. But what I found. When I starts running this here, it circulates the air in the garage. As you know, heat rises. And that's up tight to the ceiling and starts blowing the heat around. And I find within five to ten minutes that I got that turned on when the place is heated up here, I find the temperature on the lower section of the garage rises extremely. It blows around the heat, it circulates the heat around the garage, and it's totally amazing. But as for dust and everything, um, it blows my mind, works fantastic, okay? It works great because I'm doing a lot of cutting and grinding here. I haven't got to worry about having fans turned on, like my big box fan here on the side. In order for me to have that turned on, I got to have the garage door or the man door open so you're losing all your heat. Okay, I can't just turn it on because this, this place is airtight. There's nowhere to draw air from. But uh, that's it. I figured I'd do a little update on that and let you know. It's been a few months now. Changed the filters in it. It works fantastic. So if you got a small shop or, you know... And you want to find something that circulate the air, but you don't want to have uh, you know dust collection or whatever. This works great. My my shop is more or less a metal shop. I do a lot of cutting and grinding, and you can see the type of dust that this picks up. So it works good. So that's the story on the old box fan. You can see there the dust and everything's been gathering up around the fan. And everything I'm gonna probably blow it off and uh, clean it all out. Well, I'm not gonna bother with that right now. I'll do that when it warms up a bit more, and I can open up garage doors. I'll clean it out then. Well, if you have any questions about this or, you know, have any thoughts, it uh, works pretty good. I'm amazed with it. So anyway, just a quick little one for you. And until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.
Well, cleaned up for the next round.